there, I'm Shelly from ShellyGrayTeaching.com and today I want to encourage you to rethink the just add a zero trick for multiplying by 10. First of all, let's see if just adding a zero always works. We will start with 5 times 10. Can we just add a zero to make a product of 50? Yes, it works in this case. Let's try a bigger problem. 75 times 10. Can we just add a zero to make a product of 750? Yeah, still works. Let's try with a decimal. 1.2 times 10. Can we just add a zero to make 1.20? No, the just add a zero trick does not work in this situation. Although just add a zero can be effective for students who are just learning to multiply by 10, it means that they will have to unlearn this trick later on when they begin multiplying decimals times 10. Instead of just adding a zero, let's teach students to shift the digits one place to the left when multiplying by 10. Let's see how this works with five times 10. We can shift the digits one place to the left, and then we add a zero as a placeholder in that empty space. This gives us 50. Let's try with 50 times 10. We can shift the digits one place to the left and then add a zero as a placeholder in that empty space. This gives us 500. Does this work for decimals too? Let's see. Let's try with 8.6 times 10. In this case, we can still shift the digits one place to the left, giving us a product of 86. This strategy works with both whole numbers and decimals. In conclusion, just adding a zero limits us to whole numbers only, whereas shifting digits to the left enables us to solve any problem where we are multiplying by 10. I hope this multiplication tip helps you as you tackle basic multiplication in your classroom. For more teaching tips, visit me over at ShellyGrayTeaching.com.